TDS is nothing but tax deducted at source. That means from which source you are earning the income, from there itself the tax will be deducted and the remaining amount will be credited to your account or will be given to you. Winning from arts race is how much? 8,000. So up to 10,000, no need to deduct TDS. He is earning less than 10. So no TDS will be deducted. Winning from puzzle. So here we are not calculating the tax because the exemption limit is up to 10,000. Here he is earning only 8,000. So that's why here no TDS for us. Hello everyone, I'm Arun Kumar, lecturer in Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this new session, session number 3 on unit number 5, that is Tax Deduction at Source and Advanced Tax Ruling. Yes, dear students, in the previous session, we discussed about the different sections and deductions what we have under section 80C to 80U with respect to individual. If he is an individual person or if he is a HUF that is Hindu undivided family, what and all the exemptions he can take, what and all the deductions he can take from section 80C to 80U from his gross total income about this concept we discussed in the earlier session. So dear students in this session we are going to discuss about the concept called the tax deduction at source that means TDS. So here in this particular concept dear students you have to understand that what is TDS and who is liable to pay TDS and why the TDS is deducted. So here TDS is nothing but tax deducted at source. That means from which source you are earning the income from there itself the tax will be deducted and the remaining amount will be credited to your account or will be given to you. For example, go to our club and you do some, you know, or you are going to win some, you know, uh, amount. Okay, like, let us say 50,000. So 50,000 is the income what you are earning, but they will not give full 50,000. Okay, they deduct 30% of tax of rupees 15,000 and they pay you the remaining amount of 35,000. They deduct 15,000 and pay you the balance of 35,000. So here they are deducting the tax at source of income itself. That means from where you are earning the income, there itself they deduct the tax and they pay you the remaining amount. So in which kind of incomes or in what source of incomes they are going to deduct the taxes and at what rate they will be deducting the taxes. So now we will be looking into that particular aspect. So if it comes to salaries, if it comes to salaries, it comes under section 192 for deduction purpose and there is no you know uh, exemption limit and all. So the total average rate, the total income divided by 12 months equals 3 years. That means whatever the total will come, whatever the total salary will be receiving for 12 months or for the whole year that will be divided by 12 months and for particular month whatever the TDS is supposed to be payable that much is supposed to be payable. Sometimes some employers will be deducting 10% of their salary as TDS. So what will be the 10% of your salary for for example let us say 30,000 is your salary. What is the 10% of your 30,000? Yes obviously it is 3,000. So every year they will be deducting 3,000 rupees of TDS from your salary account. So this is how it works with respect to salary. Next one, premature withdraw from employee provident fund. So here, if you are withdrawing the provident fund for more than 50,000, then they'll be deducting 10% of your withdrawn amount if you are providing the PAN card. If you are not providing the PAN card, then they'll be deducting 20% of amount withdrawn. For example, if it is a, you know, uh, PF, uh, you know, withdrawal and you are withdrawing more than 50,000 rupees and you are not submitted the PAN card. At that time, they will be deducting 20%. If you are submitting PAN card, then they deduct 10%. If you are withdrawing less than 50,000, then no TDS will be applicable on those withdrawals. Next one, interest on securities. Yes, interest on securities, it is also 10% TDS they will be deducting and for first 10,000, that means if you are receiving the interest up to 10,000, no TDS, more than 10,000, 10% TDS, okay, yes. The next point, interest on bank deposit and post office deposits, yes, here also up to 10,000, no TDS, more than 10,000, they'll be deducting 10% TDS. And next one, interest on securities in registered firm, yes, up to 5,000, no TDS, more than 5,000, they will be deducting 10% of TDS. 
नेक्स्ट विनिंग फ्रॉम लॉटरी पजल गेम्स यस अब विनिंग फ्रॉम यू नो लॉटरी और पजल गेम दोस काइंड ऑफ गैम्बलिंग्स अप टू टेन थाउजेंड दे वॉन्ट डिडक्ट टी डी एस इफ यू आर विनिंग टेन थाउजेंड दे वॉन्ट डिडक्ट दिल गिव फुल कैश ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड इफ यू आर विनिंग मोर दैन टेन थाउजेंड देन दिल बी डिडक्टिंग थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ यूर टोटल इनकम नेक्स्ट विनिंग फ्रॉम आर्ट्स रेस हियर ऑल्सो अप टू टेन थाउजेंड दे वॉन्ट डिडक्ट मोर दैन टेन थाउजेंड दिल डिडक्ट थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ टी डी एस एंड इंश्योरेंस कमीशन फॉर एजेंट्स यस अप टू फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड दे वॉन्ट डिडक्ट एनीथिंग फॉर इंश्योरेंस कमीशन More than fifteen thousand, they'll be deducting yes five percent of the income as TDS. Next one payment in respect of LIC policy. Yes, here up to rupees one lakh, they will not be deducting anything. If you are did you know taking more than one lakh rupees, they'll be deducting one percent. Next, next withdraw from national savings scheme. That is NSC up to two thousand five hundred. If you are withdrawing, no TDS will be deducted. More than that, they'll be deducting. 10%. Next commission on sale of lottery tickets. So up to 15,000, they will not be deducting any TDS. More than 15,000, if you are receiving, then they will be deducting 5%. Next thing is any commissions and brokerage. If you are receiving up to 15,000, no tax. More than 15,000, they will be deducting 5% of TDS. Next transfer or sale of immovable property. So up to 50 lakh, you need not to. Pay TDS if you are receiving more than fifty lakhs in you know at the time of transferring the immovable property, then they will be charging one percent TDS if you provide PAN details. If you are not providing PAN details, then they will be deducting twenty percent. Next, rent paid on land and building, so up to fifty thousand no TDS, more than fifty thousand ten percent. So the five percent they will be. Impose professional or technical fees up to thirty thousand. If you are receiving no TDS, more than that they will be deducting or they will be charging ten percent tax. Next, any compensation for acquisition of immovable property. If you are receiving any compensation by the government for acquisition of immovable property, that is the land or the building, up to two lakh fifty. If you are receiving no tax, more than two lakh fifty, they will be deducting. Yes, it is ten percent tax. so these are all the different rates what we have for different types of you know the incomes what we earn and the exemption limit also okay students fine let us solve few problems with respect to this concept that is tds the first problem from the following details of income compute tds amount for each transaction so here winning from lottery is rupees 1 lakh so here up to 10000 rupees no tax more than 10000 they'll be charging 30% of tax so on 1 lakh 30% means 30000 rupees of tds will be deducted and mr sanju agent of lic earned a commission of rupees 20000 so here also they will be charging and rent paid on building 48000 per month next lic amount paid to the policy holder by company on maturity of rupees 4 lakh interest on bank deposit 20000 Withdraw of premature employee provident fund of rupees fifty three thousand without furnishing the PAN details. That means without furnishing the PAN card details. Winning from arts race eight thousand. Compensation for land acquisition it is two lakh sixty thousand. And payment to an individual contractor whose total payment during financial year is one lakh fifty thousand. So by using this information, you are supposed to find out the total TDS amount payable. So first point, what we have, it is winning from lottery. So up to ten thousand exempt, but here he is earning more than that. That is, he is earning one lakh rupees. So compute thirty percent on this particular amount. Okay, if he is earning one lakh rupees into thirty percent, you calculate the rate is changed. You calculate thirty percent, you will get thirty thousand rupees. Okay, you will get thirty thousand rupees. So now next the commission on LIC, okay? Commission from LIC. So twenty thousand is receiving, okay? Twenty thousand is receiving up to fifteen thousand, no tax, more than fifteen five percent. So twenty thousand is receiving five percent. If you compute, you'll get one thousand. Next rent on building. So rent on building is receiving forty eight thousand. So up to fifty thousand if he is receiving no tax. If he is receiving more than fifty thousand, then it is. TDS will be deducted. 
LIC amount paid, how much? 4 lakh. So here the exemption, more than the exemption limit what we have. So 1% is the tax. If you compute 1%, how much you will get? You will get 4,000 rupees. Okay. Next, interest on bank deposit, how much? 20,000. So up to 10,000, no TDS will be deducted. If it is more than 10,000, then 10% 10 of TDS, 10% 10 on 20,000 is 2,000. Next, withdraw from PF account is 53,000. Up to 50,000, they will not be deducting. More than 50,000, they will be deducting. But here, he failed to furnish the PAN details. Here, they clearly mentioned that he fails to furnish the PAN details. So that is why we are charging 20%. So 20% on 53,000 is 10,600. Next one, winning from arts race is how much? 8,000. So up to 10,000, no need to deduct TDS. He is earning less than 10. So no TDS will be deducted. Compensation for land acquisition, 2,60,000 is given. So 10%. That means up to 2,50, we will not be deducting anything. More than 2,50. So we have more than 2,50. So 10% how much you get? It is 26,000. And payment to contractor. So here they are paying the contractor to the individual contractor. So 1%. If it is for company, 2%. So 1% on 1,50 is 1,500. So this is how you are supposed to solve the problem. And at the end, total it, you will get the total. Then that is called the total TDS payable. So it's very easy. The thing is, you have to keep in mind about the exemption, you know, limit and the rate of tax applicable on different types of incomes. Problem number two, from the following details of income, compute tedious amount for each transaction. The first one winning from puzzle game. Next, lump sum amount or the payment to a contractor X limited. That means it's a company, 40,000. Dividend from a company other than listed company 50,000. Interest on securities 15,000. Commission earned by an insurance agent is rupees 40,000. Sale of building rupees 49 lakhs. Withdraw from national saving scheme 5,000. And rent paid on building is rupees 68,000 per month. LIC amount paid to the policy holder by company on maturity is 2 lakhs and withdraw of premature employee provident fund is rupees 53,000. So in this, the same format, no changes in the format. The first is what? What we have? Winning from puzzle. So here we are not calculating the tax because the exemption limit is up to 10,000. Here is earning only 8,000. So that's why here no TDS for him. Next point, lump sum payment to a contractor that is X limited. So what is the amount he is receiving? He is receiving 40,000. If it is individual, 1% TDS will be deducted. If it is a company, then 2% TDS will be deducted. The amount is 800 because it's a company. Next, dividend from a company other than listed company. That means here the company is not listed. It is non-listed. Again, amount receiving is 50,000. Dividend is up to 10,000, no tax. But here it is more than that. So 10%, so 5,000 will be the TDS amount. Next, interest on securities. So up to 10,000 is exempt, but here it is more than 10. So 10% tax is applicable, 1,500. Very easy. Next, commission earned by an insurance agent is how much? 40,000. So more than the exemption limit. So 5% is the rate of TDS applicable. 2000 is the TDS amount. Next, sale of building. So up to 50 lakh, no TDS will be deducted. So year year, the amount he received is less than 50 lakh. So no TDS will be deducted. Next one, withdrawn from national saving scheme. That is from NSC. So 5000 is receiving 10%. You'll get 500 rupees is the TDS amount. So the next point, rent on building rent paid on building here the rent received is more than 50000 because the exemption limit is 50 if you are more than 50 you will be calculating 5% so 68000 into 5% 3400 next lic amount paid to the policy holder yes it is 2 lakh rupees 
ten percent is stated as twenty thousand. You will get next withdraw of premature employee provident fund. Yes, again here they are not mentioned whether you furnish the PAN card details or not. So we assume that the PAN card details are furnished and we calculate ten percent TDS because the amount is more than fifty thousand. So you will get five thousand three hundred. So this is how you are supposed to compute. At the end total it you will get the total. The total will be called as the total TDS deducted. Moving further, problem number three. So in this problem also we have few incomes. So from the following details of income, compute TDS amount for each transaction. So first point, sale of land to a resident rupees fifty five lakhs without furnishing PAN. So here it is more than fifty lakhs. Then obviously tax is applicable. The to without PAN, yes, obviously twenty percent of TDS is applicable on this transaction. Next compensation for acquisition of building. Two lakh sixty-five. That means up to two lakh fifty. It is nil. More than two lakh fifty-five. It is chargeable. It is more than two lakh fifty thousand. So it is chargeable. Next technical fees collected. Yes, up to thirty thousand. It is not. You know the TDS is not applicable. The amount is more than thirty thousand. So TDS is applicable. So winning from lottery up to ten thousand. It is not applicable. More than ten thousand. Thirty percent is applicable. So here it is applicable. TDS is applicable. Next LIC payment to policy holder, yes, obviously it is applicable to this transaction also. TDS is applicable. Next payment made to a contractor, Mr. B is rupees twenty thousand. However, the total payment in the financial is one lakh fifty thousand. Next interest on bank deposit is rupees six thousand. So here we will not be calculating TDS because the exemption limit is up to ten thousand. So they are. Receiving less than ten thousand, so no TDS. Winning from card games twelve thousand, yes, it is more than ten thousand, so thirty percent of TDS is applicable. So let us solve the problem. Sale of land, yes, as I said, they have not mentioned the, they have not provided the PAN card details. So fifty five lakh into twenty percent, you will get eleven lakh rupees. So eleven lakh is supposed to pay as TDS on us, you know, total income of fifty five thousand, fifty five lakhs. Next compensation for acquisition of other sources. So here the composition for acquisition, okay, composition for acquisition by the government. So how much is receiving? Is receiving two lakh sixty five thousand. So ten percent because amount is more than two lakh fifty. Ten percent is twenty six thousand five hundred. Next technical fees collected. Obviously ten percent is applicable because it is more than thirty thousand. Up to thirty is it is exempt. Here we have more than thirty. So ten percent. Three thousand five hundred is the tax applicable. Next, winning from lottery, it is forty thousand. So thirty percent on forty thousand, how much you'll get? Obviously, you'll get twelve thousand. Got it? Next point, LIC payment of rupees one lakh. So one percent is applicable. That is one thousand. Next, payment to contractor, it is one lakh fifty thousand. They are only mentioned that the total payment in the financial is. One lakh fifty thousand, so one percent is applicable. It is paid to an individual, so thousand five hundred. Next, interest on bank deposit. Here, interest on bank deposit is six thousand, so less than the exemption limit of ten thousand. So no TDS will be deducted here because they are receiving only six thousand. Winning from card games, they are receiving twelve thousand rupees. They are receiving twelve thousand rupees, and here the tax is applicable because The amount is more than the exemption limit of rupees thirty thousand. So, the exemption limit of rupees ten thousand. So here compute thirty percent on twelve thousand. You will get three thousand six hundred. So now total it. You will get the total. The total will be called as the total TDS amount payable. So this is how you are supposed to compute the TDS amount if they give the you know different incomes and you should also have the knowledge of. What is the exemption limit and what is the you know rate of tax applicable? About this and all, if you have the knowledge, so easily you can solve the problems. And they might ask this kind of questions in the main exam for ten marks also. So study well, and it is very easy also. You can score very good marks if you learn this exemption limit and the rate of TDS applicable on different transactions. So with this, I am going to wind up this session. I'll come up with few more new topics. Until then, thank you all. Have a nice day. Namaste.